Why non-gaming unicorn? Are you here to game? No. Thanks non-gaming unicorn. Today we're going to look at the Zombicide Prison Outbreak rotating security gate. I'm going to show you a little something I did with it, but uh, first let's uh, take a look at what they are. Uh, it's a large counter. Um, it's got an uh, L shape. It's got an now it's got an L shape. It was kind of like a um, like a uh, Greek letter shape, but we have an L shape on one side, and then we have a, um, a you know it goes along the uh, corridor, uh, two eyes I guess if you will, and pretty much what they are is you would have somebody in a place. You'd have one character in a place where the uh, switch is, and then they would rotate it one quarter, you know, as their action. And then what this does is uh, the yellow signifies a wall, so we'll put El Cholo, Trust and Trejo, Machete, Kills. So let's say he wanted to either block out, uh, say there were some uh, walkers or zombies in this room here, and he wanted to block them off, he could... Uh, have somebody rotate the room so the wall would block out or if he wanted to go from this section to the uh, to the other section he could have it rotated and then he'd be able to walk now zombies are not allowed to spawn in that and you cannot search you cannot search the rotating security thing now um, what I did was uh, couldn't leave well enough alone so what I did was I made a 3d version of said um, of said uh, gate and here's the uh, L shape one we'll put El Cholo there okay and what I did was I used uh, four concrete slabs from the Hearst Arts um, floor one of, one of the floor sets I molded it in the stuff called tough stone and then for the bars I used a um, I used a uh, paper uh, paper set from world works games and they have they kind of have like a police set and then uh, you know, there's no doubt there's no doubt where um, where stuff is going to be turning uh, with the uh, with the counter sometimes you know if it's if it's kind of dark it's kind of it's kind of hard to see where it are where it is and then that's that was the l-shaped one and what I did on this one just um, it's a little it's a little crinkly but um, it's a little um, a little warp, not so straight. But what I did was I uh, put Mod Podge on it, and uh, that kind of that kind of strengthened it a little bit, and it also uh, made made the colors a little more vibrant. I printed it on a inkjet printer, and then I'll, I'll do a maybe I'll do a video on you know how I how I do the um, how I do paper uh, paper terrain, um, you know, and it, it's just it's kind of neat. Um, and then I have for the other the other scenarios, I did uh, you know the uh, a straight, um, you know, where bars are down each one, each um, each row, each aisle, and for this one, I used um, I used the uh, diamond plate uh, her starts thing and the blood for the blood god uh, uh, blood. Okay, and uh, you know, if you like this, uh, give me a hearty thumbs up. Uh, the El Cholo, the El Cholo figure. Um, uh, the El Cholo figure is on sale on eBay, so check it out. Um, and thanks for watching. Give me a hearty thumbs up. Uh, let's get some comments going. And thanks for watching. Bye now.